Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Chronicles Draft Picks uh, Football, Collegiate Football. Eight box, random team break number three. See all the big selection of teams right there, a lot of combos and whatnot. All card, you notice that all card chip in this as well. Just too many inserts, all sorts of things going on in there. So big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. We'll assign you a team. I know it looks kind of jumbled, but you'll see 21 items right there, so don't worry. Let's roll, random, five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five. And a one, six and final time. After six times, we got David down to Wes. Five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There you go. After six times, we got Minnesota down to Alabama. All right, so David, you got that group of teams right there. Thomas, Matthew, Shira, there you go. Cooper, Matt, Wes, Matt, Ben, Glenn, Stephen, Wes, James, Wes, Rich, Rory with Ohio State. Nice. He has them for trade, by the way. Will with LSU. Rich with uh, Notre Dame group. Wes with that group right there as well. And let's... There you go, Tom, uh, Matthew. That's that's the rest of your teams right there. I know it's a little small on your screen, but there's, I just want to get that on camera. All right. So now, while you're considering trades, let's pop this case open and let's see which half we're gonna do. James Johnson, what's going on? How are you? All right, we'll go select a die. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Two, left side right here. Right side we will save for, uh, I'm sure you guys, I'm sure Jason, you guys and Jason will do this over the next couple days, next day or two, so we'll Put those Wolverine slash marks right there so we all know it's from the same case. All right, we'll flip back to the team screen. Um, I'm gonna pause the video just for a couple seconds. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break when we come back. Bye-bye. Not bye-bye, stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was... Uh, Rory offered a trade, but no one, no one wanted it. No one wanted Ohio State. All right, so there's the official printout right there, folks. I alphabetized by that first list of teams right there, so maybe I can kind of spot it a little more easily during the break. All right, let's roll. Looking for these guys. Remember, all card ships. So if I miss like a numbered card or something like that, because I think they put all the numbers in different spots sometimes, don't worry. You'll see it, it'll ship. The shipping team will catch it, it'll be sleeved and top loaded. I'll try to separate as much out as possible. I'm gonna separate out the the bigger names though, like Burrow, Tua, and Herbert. LaMichael P. Ryan leads us off. Prism going with relics. Prism three color patch and autograph. 72 or 77 out of 99 Florida will be for James Cook. I'm sorry. There's a tool right there. I'm going to set these aside. 
Joe Burrow. Tua will go to uh, Thomas, who has Oklahoma. LSU is Will, who has, uh, he'll get the Joe Burrows, all the Joe Burrows that you see in here. Justin Herbert, Oregon, that'll go to Wes Thomas. All of those will go to Wes. And T. Higgins, 167 out of 299. Clemson Relic for Matthew Shira. And we got from Florida Athletic, Atlantic Athletic, 5 out of 99, Atlantic. Is it Florida Atlantic? I don't see it on my list here. Yeah, Florida Atlantic Owls, there it is, Ben Butler with the Harrison Bryant autograph. And we got Van Jefferson, Florida Gators. That's going to go to uh, James Cook in Florida. college conferences figuring out when to when or if they can start I think Ivy League backed out right? I don't follow college sports too closely but what's the temperature folks How, I mean is college football gonna happen in the fall or not I know I want to say the Pac-10 it's out here uh, is just gonna go interconference games only I feel like everyone's trying to figure it out. There's Keyshawn Vaughn to 49. It's a cool look there from that Phoenix. I think Ivy League just straight up said no. We're done. We're not doing it. SEC maybe is kind of marching along as... As if they're going to start on time, but people on the inside maybe not thinking it'll happen. USC's Michael Pittman Jr. 299. I don't know what's going to happen with, with college stuff. talking about I know college makes a lot of money but you're talking about uh, you know the amateurs kids so it's a little bit a little bit different from these pro players here all right there's John Hightower Boise State seven out of ten nice low number for Ben Butler in Boise State These Joe Burrows are numbered. Yeah, they're not. And we've got J.K. Dobbins, Ohio State. That's for Rory. Is that out of 10 gold? Mm, it is. Four out of 10 on that one. Next box. And I know the boxes are off camera right here, but you can still see them in the top camera up there. This is Steve Trout of the Cubs. Does he make the all-fish all team? 
make the starting rotation of an all fish team? Maybe. Justin Herbert and Brandon Ayuk, fabric of the game relic to two ninety nine, going to Arizona State. Uh, will be for Just got Arizona State on this. That's Arizona Wildcats. That's oh, that's paired with the uh, or with Oregon State. So that's for Wes Thomas. There you go, Wes. That goes to you. And speaking of Oregon State, there it is, Isaiah Hodgkins, ninety-five out of ninety-nine. Crown Royal die cut autograph. There he is again. Tua. And Denzel Mims. Baylor. It's 18 out of 30 on that one. Baylor Bear, Wes Thomas. Joe Burrow, and we've got Zach Moss, three-color jersey and autograph, a Ute, a Utah Ute. Where's Utah on my list here? Uh, that goes to Coop. Cooper with that one. Jake Breland Hyper to 49. Justin Herbert for Oregon. And Jake from State Farm. Next box. Who do you think will have the most long-term success of these quarterbacks right here? For the sake of the hobby, I hope all of them. Even the ones drafted late, too. Joe Burrow seems to have the classic composition of, of, of a good quarterback. Two is a little more dynamic, but does he not protect himself enough? I don't know. We'll see. Benny LeMay. Okay, Ronnie's saying Joe might get hurt just due to no offensive line. So, okay, so... So both two and Joe Burrow may may have some injury concerns to be mindful of. At a two ninety nine, Lavisca Chenault Jr., Colorado, Buffalo. That'll be for Wes. And we got John Hightower, die cut autograph from Crown Royale, Crown Royale Design. 
Boise State. And it'll be for Ben Butler. Now, size, size, and, and and style concerns for Kyler Murray last year too. There's AJ Dillon, die cut autograph to 99. But Kyler Murray seemed to protect himself fairly well last season. But people, from what little I I know about college football, I think people are saying, "Who's got Boston College?" Ben Butler is Boston College. People are saying, eh, "Tua may not protect himself as 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 well as." Kyler would or does and with uh, with his injury history already that could be a concern uh, there's Albert Okwebanum three color jersey and autograph nailed it Missouri Missouri uh, that will be These teams are all jumbled up. There, the Missouri Tigers, West Thomas. There you go. Ronnie's Ronnie's a Colts fan, and he's like, "Man, we ruined Andrew Luck." Well, with like with with poor offensive lines, uh, you think he comes back? Or what's the feeling out there? Is or is he just done done? I wonder if I, I think I think he might come back twenty twenty one next year. You know, when he can maybe do a workout, you know, post pandemic. See how teams are shaking out. Daniel says, hard to choose, but I think it's going to be Burrow and Tua. Yeah, I guess the highest drafted ones will be the will be the best ones. I don't know. I mean, say what you want about Dak Prescott, but there's some great value there. Dak Prescott being drafted so late. You know, could there be a surprise there? It could be interesting. And that's a out of five, DeAndre Swift for Georgia. That is for James Cook with a Georgia Bulldog. It's a great name for a running back. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And we got Michael Pittman Jr., rookie silhouettes. There's some nice texture there to 25. USC, that will be for Matthew Shira. Gilo says Okwabana may be sneaky good tight end out there. Went to school with Drew Locke and then got drafted by the Broncos. Interesting. All right. So maybe there'll be a, a relationship there already. Maybe good for the fantasy. 72 and 99, Colby Parkinson. From the XR design for Stanford. That will be for Matthew Shira. I, th I think I think Luck just got frustrated with the injuries and his recovery, and I think he just kind of seemed like he was mentally frustrated. But if he he could come back, couldn't he? I, I could see it. Turn these cards all backwards here. There we go. Barrington Evans, seventy-five out of ninety-nine for. Uh, the Appalachian State Mountaineers, Matthew Shearer. Yeah, Denver Broncos, my rivals, definitely, definitely, uh, I guess Gilo's rivals too, definitely upgraded and really got a lot of weapons for, for Drew Locke, kind of put him in the best possible situation to succeed. Ooh, and a three out of four. Wow. Lynn Bowden Jr. Hopefully a uh, hopefully will be a big playmaker for my Raiders. He went to Kentucky. Where's Kentucky on my list? That is nice. 
Glenn Campbell, three out of four. By the time I get to Kentucky, she'll be rising. Glenn, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Excellent patch right here. Love that select look in the background. Good autograph. He can throw the ball. He can catch the ball. He can run the ball. I think John Gruden's excited about about getting him into the mix. And then the Raiders got Henry Ruggs too. So the Raiders also got some weapons. Chase Young. No, just a Chase Young card. James Proch. Joe Reed. 99. All right. Hi, Greg. Oh, did I not? If you didn't see who, um, hmm. shoot us an email about that. Jaspiescasebreak at gmail .com. so we can see that video, and then if we didn't do, we can do a randomizer. Maybe Jason will do one tomorrow. But yeah, just shoot us a link to that video. Jaspiescasebreaks at gmail.com. All right, folks, almost done. Kind of running out of steam, but I think we just have a few easy breaks to do before I can call it a weekend. Thanks, everybody, for keeping the crew and I so busy all week long. Appreciate it. I think we've, we've been having some fun. Hopefully, we've been able to send you some stuff. There's Keyshawn Vaughn, rookie silhouettes to 199 Vanderbilt, that'll be for Cooper. Remember, all cards ship, so you'll be getting everything that you see here, folks. If they're on your team, Isaiah Coulter, that prestige design. I think Isaiah Coulter does not have a college associated with him. He's from he, he's Rhode Island. We looked this up a few times. Apparently, Panini got everybody's license except for the Rhode Island license. So that's interesting. There you go. Uh, yeah, that must be a typo. I think I think whatever's in the title is correct. It's a diamond icons giveaway. The Michael P. Ryan, fifty nine out of ninety nine. Another Florida Gator for James Cook. And A.J. Dillon. Wow, that's a cool looking card right there. It's flashy. Nice Spectre design. Two color jersey and autograph for this uh, for this Eagle. Seven out of 15. Ben Butler. Now Boston College, they don't say War Eagle, right? That's just an Auburn thing. All right, two boxes to go. die cut Joe Burrow I don't think any of these have been numbered uh, I think Will has them right yeah I don't think any of these have been numbered Will but they'll all ship 
KJ Hamler, Penn State. And I'll go to Rich. Darnell Mooney for the Tulane Green Wave. Who's got Tulane? Tulane will be for Cooper. Coop with the Green Wave. Darnell Mooney. And Zach Moss, another Utah U for uh, for Cooper. Another Zach Moss. And a redemption. Who are the redemptions in this? It's going to be Justin Jefferson. Spectra draft picks, patch autographs, neon green. Justin Jefferson, Florida? Or is that Van Jefferson? Justin Jefferson, who is with the Vikings now, went to LSU. There you go. So uh, I think that's Will Comstock on the board. There you go, Bulldog fan, getting this Tiger. He's a Mississippi State Bulldog. Just in case, in case the viewers at home are wondering. All right, last box. How did people watch baseball back back in the day? I'm watching the game from 1984. There's no score on the on the TV. The, the sides are blurry. The left and right sides are blurry. I don't know what the exit velos are. Yeah, they, they yeah scorecards. That's that's probably what you need. You probably have to keep score. I guess this was a day when you were probably just paying attention to the game on TV and not checking your Instagram while you're watching a baseball game. Tyler Johnson to one ninety nine. Imagine just. Imagine back, even back in the day, just waiting for the box score of the newspaper the next day. Come on. Minnesota with that one. That'll go to David. Primitive. The viewing experience is much better today. Remember that stupid thing that uh, there's another two-lane green wave, Darnell Mooney for Cooper. Remember that stupid uh, thing Fox did where they were just like, oh, we're going to use like a... Uh, a vintage filter for the first three innings from the 1940s and then we're gonna switch it to the 1950s and then the 1990s and then three innings later and the final three innings will be like current <laughs> and they did it for like a Sunday game or something like that there's Jacob Eason maybe a Sunday day game four out of 15 die cut for Washington I think they were trying to be clever, and they'd be like, "Hey, the broadcast was like uh, that goes to West Thomas." Something I think it was something like that. They wanted to show like the different you know eras, and I, I get what they were trying to do, which I thought was interesting, but I didn't want that during the whole game. All right, and the last one is for Rory, two color patch and autograph. J.K. Just kidding, Dobbins. There you go, Rory. That is numbered to 25. So that neon green redemption probably to 25 as well. 
And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A nice break. Chronicles Collegiate or Chronicles Draft Picks football is pretty solid, actually. So check it out. There should, there should be more in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.